welcome to a very special presentation. Um, this evening we have three solopreneurs, a professor, and a mathematician. All of them are touching hundreds and thousands of lives. And they are doing this through their service. Many of them have combined their own um, conventional um, training with some of the training that they've received um, through Dow Academy. And as a result, they are having a huge impact on people's lives. So I want to introduce you to them one at a time. And um, then we'll have a chance to ask some questions. And um, as you know, we put out an email. And we have two very special guests. One is Peter Hodoba. And the other is Alan Chuck. So they will also be joining us. Um, throughout the evening. So tonight is really um, an opportunity to inspire you. I spoke with our guests and I was so moved and so uplifted after my 10 minute, 15 minute uh, call with them um, because of the work that they're doing and because of how determined they are, how they are committed they, nothing's stopping them. They are just going to keep going forward and forward and forward. Um, and um, that, that in and of itself is a great, um, speaks a great deal about who they are and why they're having the success that they're having um, because they don't let uh, anything stop them. They just keep, they keep going. Because in their hearts, they know that what they're doing is having a huge impact on people. And um, they are determined to bring as much of their um, knowledge and wisdom that they have uh, to others as possible. Okay, so I'm going to start because we have five guests. <laughs> And I want to give them as much time as possible. So I'm going to start with my first guest. I'm going to read to you um, my um, uh, the, the, the bio that um, was sent to us. And um, so this is Lisa Smiley. The first, our first guest is Lisa Smiley. And all three of our guests, by the way, are um, certified Dao uh, Healing Hands practitioners. Then they each have other certifications, um, but something that I learned, all three of them have multiple certifications. That right there told me a lot about their level of commitment. When they join a program, boy, they really join a program. So I know Lisa uh, very uh, briefly because I saw her on a couple of the videos related to the NFT uh, campaign that was done in November of last year. So that was really my introduction to her. And I had the great opportunity to uh, talk to her, I think on Monday, Sunday or Monday. And what I learned is that she's a solo entrepreneur. And actually her husband's an entrepreneur as well. So they're probably raising their two kids to be entrepreneurs. But at any rate, she's an entrepreneur. She's been in um, real estate. She's been a, real, a licensed real estate appraiser for over 25 years. But she's always had a deep passion for helping people. So right after she uh, received her BA in sociology at St. John's University, she volunteered for an HIV AIDS hotline. Um, at, during the 25 years that she's been um, working as an appraiser, she's literally gone into people's homes. So she's met a lot of people, many of them very interesting, met them, met their children, met their pets. Um, what she was struck by is how much they suffer. Usually when, uh, many times when people are buying or selling a house, it's because they are, they are going through a change 
a different stage of life. Retirement, a divorce, illness, financial challenges, health issues, and then they can no longer stay in the house. And there's so much pain and suffering, but she couldn't help them other than to, to feel a lot of um, compassion for them. But in 2014, she discovered the book, The Power of Soul, written by Dr. and Master Shah, and that changed her life. So with that, I want to invite Lisa. So Lisa, welcome. Thank you for being here. Everyone, thank you so much for having me. I'm so honored and grateful to have been invited here and to share my story with all of you. Lisa, you have a lot of certifications. I want to read these. She's a certified <laughs> soul healing teacher. She's a certified Tao Source Communicator. She is certified uh, Tao the Da'ai Healing Hands Practitioner. She is certified Tao Healing Hands Practitioner, Divine Healing Hands Practitioner. She's a certified Tao Song Tao Dance Practitioner. She's a certified Tao Calligraphy Field Practitioner. And she's a Love Peace Harmony Ambassador. Uh, what inspired you to um, pursue all those certifications? Love of helping people that are suffering. It just even as a little girl, I just I could never stand seeing someone who's suffering. And I kept thinking to myself, there has to be a way I can heal them in a profound way. And I never could find it till I was in my early 40s. And I found this book from Master and Dr. Jigan Shah. And he has empowered me to be a teacher and enlighten people with this wisdom and to heal them and to transform their lives and to remove their suffering. So that really was my motivation. When I started getting into this, these teachings, I realized, wow, I really can have an impact. And as a teacher, I can impact hundreds and thousands of people through technology that we're so blessed to have. I can reach so many people in such a wonderful modality. Mm. So Lisa, you're, um, you didn't stop with the, Dao, with the divine healing hands. You then received the Dao, the, the Dao, um, um, Dao healing hands. Um, so what, is, what, got you, what inspired you to take the Soul Healing Teacher and Healer course? And, and, what, and what did that, what, so you were a Dao Healing Hands practitioner, which gives you the power to offer blessings for any aspect of life. Right, so it doesn't matter health, relationships, finances, business, uh, home, garden, it's the spiritual journey, you name it, pretty much the Tao Healing Hands. Why, why, why take the, uh, why become a certified soul healing teacher and healer? I wasn't really sure it was right for me. I had my, my doubts and a master teacher pulled me aside and had a little conversation with me. And it really did open my heart and my mind to the idea that I could be a teacher. I always loved being a student. I loved taking courses in university. I loved listening to all the other master teachers, Master Shah's teachers, healers. And I loved listening, of course, to Master and Jigang Shah. I could listen to him endlessly, hours and hours. But I didn't know if I could have an impact on people and explain the wisdom in a way that would really touch their hearts and that they would really understand and um, absorb in the right way. So I was a little bit nervous about taking the course. I tend to be a little bit shy at times, especially as a child. My sister had to speak for me all the time because I was very painfully shy. I've kind of outgrown that a bit. Um, so I took the course and it just was an amazing experience. This is heaven's wisdom that we are bringing to humanity. This is what all the great souls that came to earth to do. And we have that honor and we have that privilege. And it's profound. It's not a little simple thing. Oh, you're allowed to teach this or that. It's teaching someone how to heal their body, how to heal their relationships. I had a consultation with a woman and we did a beautiful, deep, deep forgiveness practice. And she was crying and I said, isn't forgiveness practice amazing didn't it feel good to speak those words and she's like i've spoken those words before to god but i never felt like he heard me and i was like wow 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 she's like i really feel like you heard me and i really feel that i was released of something 
So uh, she, it just was amazing. I love working with my clients. They teach me things all the time. They're, we're all beautiful souls on this journey together, trying to make this world a better place, happier and healthier. So I'm just so grateful to Master Shah that he has empowered me with this ability to heal people, to teach people. I love, I love what I do. <laughs> it's beautiful listening to you. So um, uh, let me ask you a couple of questions. Yeah, um, the uh, the the program, the soul healing, the soul healing teacher um, program. Um, it's it it is an intense program, right? It's um, I think it's three or four semesters, and Alan's going to join us in a in a little bit, and he'll give us um, some of the specifics. So how did you find that in terms of um, in terms of the amount of of um, instruction, because it's a combination of instruction, small groups, practices. Um, what, how did you, um, were you overwhelmed? Was it too much? What, what, what was your best, what was the thing that you loved the most of the, about the class, about the uh, training program? I, I love teaching karma and learning about karma because my whole life as a child, I had these questions and I would seek people out for answers like my parents, the priest at church, and everyone said, no one knows why these things happen. I said, no, life can't be this random. There has to, there's, life is, and nature is too orderly. There has to be a reason. I'm just not meant to get up, you know, eat, work, sleep. I, I just, just gotta be something deeper I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm supposed to know. So I was always thirsty for this knowledge. And once I found it, it just was like, oh, this makes perfect sense. And I have to let others know what is going on in their life and why they are here. And don't waste this lifetime. It's such a precious gift to be here on the planet and transform ourselves that I was very passionate about that. Mm, beautiful. And um, um, so you, when did you take the program? You must have taken it in 2016. That was the last time it was offered. So yes. just two years after reading the book, you jumped into the program. Wow. I jump into everything. <laughs> Master Shaw says, do it. I jump in <laughs> and I do it. <laughs> and it's, it's blessed my life so profoundly. Where my life is today and where it was seven years ago, I mean, no one even recognizes me or my life. Everyone's like, I want her life. <laughs> really? <laughs> seven years ago, you probably wouldn't have wanted it so much. So, yeah, it's really it's really transformed my life. And the, yeah, and what the support has, from heaven. Okay, please. Yeah, what has transformed? Everything, my health, my health, many health conditions, my relationships, you know, some of my he hardest relationships in my life, like with my sister, are so peaceful, harmonious, loving. We never argue anymore. Uh, just everything in my life, my finances are the best they've ever been. So everything, I just can't think of. I feel wiser, I feel more intelligent, I feel more confident. It's just been such a profound transformation, yeah. So you really are living the life of your dreams. I am. You are. <laughs> and I give all the credit to Master Shaw because they, had he not come and brought this knowledge to me and to everyone, we wouldn't, we, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I'm so passionate about bringing others to where I am and even higher and greater than where I am. Oh, how beautiful. Um, all right, so, so then in uh, so 2014, you get the book, 2016, you take the uh, the course, the Dao Soul Healing um, uh, the Soul Healing Teacher course, and then you graduate. And then how how do you go from that to your um, Smiley Wellness Center? I was teaching monthly courses after I graduated from the Soul Teacher courses, and I just said I really want my own space to to teach people. So uh, where I was teaching was a yoga studio, and the building next door came for sale. So I jumped in and bought it, and um, I've been have, <laughs> gathering students and teaching them, and, and I've been having such a wonderful time. And you literally just, just, they feel the love of heaven come through me. And I thought I would be nervous talking in front of people. I thought, what if I teach the wrong thing? Or, but heaven really supports you. You're really not alone up there. <laughs> and if no one else is laughing at my jokes, heaven's laughing. <laughs> They're like, <"S> <laughs> They like love me, you're like, you're doing good, they encourage me. 
So I feel so much love and support. It's really not me up there. They're, I'm just the, cha- the, the vehicle that they're channeling through. So when I take myself out of it, I feel very you know, confident. And I love what I, what I do. Yeah. Um, share a little bit with people about, um, about your life because um, I think people are thinking you're in a big city. Tell them the population of the, the city where you're at. Um, and, and we'll talk a little bit uh, about that, yeah. Yeah, the town, I, I originally was from New York City, Long Island, where there was a lot of people. <laughs> and about 15 years ago, I moved to New England, and I live in a very small town of New Hampshire. There's 650 people in my town. <laughs> the town next to me where my wellness center is is about 6,000. So it's not a big population, but even if I just have a few people, they come in person, to touch them and to enlighten them and to awaken them, it, it's it's priceless. Yeah, I'm so grateful. Yeah, you told me you have a client. She drives three hours one way. Yes, when I do my monthly sessions, she drives. She comes multiple times. She's coming again this month. She drives three hours each way from Maine. I have my, well, most of my other clients are coming from Massachusetts. They drive about two two and a half hours each way. And I have a couple locals that don't have big drives, but people are coming. Once you touch their heart and once they've connected to how profound this is and they receive these healing blessings, like a woman came, she had dropped foot, I gave her a blessing. She's like, my foot's fine. Like, they can't believe it. They're so happy and excited. And I'm so happy and excited for them because I'm like, isn't this great? Isn't this amazing? (laughs) Everyone has to be doing this. And it's my job to make make sure everyone is doing this and doing these practices and receiving this knowledge and receiving these blessings that are available. So amazing. Um, so you're um, so share with everybody. You're a mom. Share with everyone the the composition in your home because when you sent it to me yesterday, <laughs> I was, I oh, was yeah. laughing. <laughs> The two dogs, the two cats, the the two uh, fish. (laughs) We have a lot going on here. But, you know, heaven has supported me and has found ways. I took both courses at once, the Soul Healing Teacher Program and the Tao Communicator Program. I took both at once, and um, I was able to juggle my family, my other job, these courses. Heaven really supports you. They bring help with, with anything you need in life, finances, you know, housekeepers, whatever I needed, they, they just stepped up and brought someone into my life. And they do it not only for me, they do it for all of us. And you just ask and they will support you because they know what I'm going to be doing is profound and it's what I'm here to do. So I really have to give all the credit to heaven. I really can't take it all. I mean, I have a wonderful, helpful husband, which I'm grateful for. I have, you know, beautiful, beautiful children that are make my life as a mom easy because <laughs> they're very... They're very special. Um, But I really give the credit to heaven. I've gotten so much support from heaven, so I can do what I need to do. And um, yeah, and even this, the teaching program that I do, um, I have, we we teach on the Empower Hour. And the woman just walked into my, one of my sessions in person, and she heard the wisdom. And she said, I really want you to be on my show. This would be wonderful. You're exactly someone I've been looking for. So we've been doing it now, I think, three or four years. We we never run out of material, yeah. We record, and then it plays four times during the week, and one time's at night. And I always think when I go to sleep, wow, I'm I'm earning virtue while I sleep. (laughs) How good is that? There's people doing practices along with me, and I'm taking how good I can sleep. So heaven has found a way where I can serve in a profound way. It doesn't really take a lot of my time. Because once I record an episode, it can be played many, many times. So it reaches about 50,000 homes. It's a public access television show. But heaven brought that person into my life. And I just had to say, okay, I'll get on camera. (laughs) Even though I'm nervous, even though I'm shy, even though I have to do this. So, yeah. So I have to give all the credit again back to heaven. Because they bring me people. And I just have to wake up and, and respond back. Wow. So I just, um, I didn't realize actually how, um, how shy you are, but I, I just got it right now, how, how much it takes for you to get on camera. You know, it's, uh, it's very similar for me. There are some days uh, it's really a challenge for me. It takes, it takes a lot of energy to, 
takes up a lot of energy to uh, to get in front of the in front of the camera. So, um, one what would you one piece of advice? Um, let me ask you this: If you couldn't teach anymore, what would happen for you? What would happen to you? I would be very depressed. I would be very unfulfilled and and very sad. And I, and I'm just so grateful I am able to teach because. And you, you can teach so many different places. You can go into um, nursing homes. You can go into prisons. You can go to homeless shelters. You can go anywhere on this planet. And if someone's willing to listen, you can teach them. And, and it's just amazing. So, yeah, I would be very sad if I couldn't teach. <laughs> <laughs> well, beautiful, Lisa. Thank you so much. I'm going to, um, I'm going to ask all three of our special guests at the end to offer a blessing. Um, but I want to thank you for being so candid and um, for jumping in when I said, will you do this? And you took a little while, and I thought, hmm, I wonder why. Um, but you jumped, you came back and, and ultimately said, yes, I'll do it. On very short notice, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you're wonderful. I love talking to you. I love uh, listening to you. The one other thing that I'll say that Lisa didn't mention is that um, sometimes she only has two or three people. Sometimes she gets six. Sometimes there may be more. It doesn't stop her. It does not stop her from um, continuing to serve. She doesn't go, oh, well, nobody came. That's it. I give up. Um, I'll, I'll regroup and try again in a month, in a week, in a year, in 10 years. She just keeps at it. Um, I gave her a tip. Uh, two, two days ago about what to do on, on, on YouTube because it's something that I learned um, by, by accident two years ago uh, when I was doing some, some things on YouTube. So I look forward to getting your YouTube channel. Yeah. Thank you, Thanks. Lisa. Thank you for all the service that you're offering and all the love and the, and the light that you're bringing to people in the Northeast. Thank you. And I thank you for all your service and all that you do. Very grateful to know you. Thank you, Lisa. Love you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Are you all inspired? Can you put in the chat? Can you put in the chat? How do you feel listening to Lisa? How do you feel about... Um, are you inspired? Are you motivated? Um, many of you, I know you, you are already Tao uh, Healing Hands practitioners. So you can, for instance, really what tonight is about, is about helping you to see all of us need to uplift, to take our training to a different level. So if you haven't taken a recent Tao Healing Hands course, you need to do that. Why? Because the, the class has been changed. It's now three separate trainings. So that would be the first step. Second step would be open spiritual channels. And then the third would be the soul healing teacher and healer. So, so post Please post on the chat, how do you feel listening to, to Lisa? Um, she, you know, she and her husband bought this property and <laughs> she, didn't she didn't have 10,000 people on her email list. She didn't have, um, she didn't do the math and go, okay, well, I can't get them in. Yeah, I've got to have this many people, blah, blah, blah. She just said, I need the space. I need my own space. And heaven will support me. And she trusts 100% in heaven. She, you listen to her and you, that's, that was the one thing I took away on Tuesday. And then I, I definitely heard it tonight, how much she trusts heaven. So what did you get from listening to Lisa? What are you inspired to do? Um, as a result of listening to, to her. What action will you take? Can you put it in the chat? And what, what do you want to say to Lisa? What, um, what message do you want to send to her heart? Yeah? Can you put that in the chat? Okay, our team, let's see, Barb, I love, so oh, thank you, Barb, for supporting the center. <laughs> uh, 
So Suzanne says, very inspiring. Thank you for sharing your journey. Um, so Lear says, I've been helped by her in the past. Very sweet and generous. Uh, let's see. So Tina, I read that. And um, Tina says, I've always loved teaching, especially children. Your story gives me confidence to move forward and exploring more. Jean says, very motivated. I'm registered for the next teacher program. Good. Oh, wonderful. Good for you. Good for you. Um, Brianna, very, oh, the things are moving. Okay, so Brianna, very inspirational. Helps me on my journey to serve others. My heart open. My actions I will take is I will move forward so eventually I can be uplifted for service. Lisa, you are very sweet. She is very sweet. Uh, Monique, Lisa's enthusiasm is contagious. It is. The passion of teaching Master Shah's wisdom is so vibrant. Thank you, Lisa, for reminding us that heaven hears our request and responds. Yes, so if you make a complaint, you <laughs> heaven will give you more complaints. Um, this is the whole teaching of, of gratitude, right? Is that we want to really always focus on gratitude and create gratitude and abundance. Karen Irvin, thank you so very much. This really is um, inspiring. I am so glad to be here listening to her story and congratulations. Shirley, thank you, Lisa, for your inspiring story. Yasusuki, I got stuck on the reference on the reference part. Oh, okay. Um, you know, yes, there's going to be a breakout session. So um, if I were you, I would wait for that session, and then you can ask the, those questions about how you get approvals, okay? But we'll help you to get, um, who do I put for the Tao Academy instructor? Um, you can put any of, um, you can put my name since you're here in BC, and then that'll come to me. Don't know about the Tao the uh, Tao Healing Hands level, there's three levels of Tao Healing Hands now. And um, level one is self-healing. So if you have a chronic condition, you absolutely need to receive Tao Healing Hands. Every single day you can check your pendulum. Uh, can I receive Tao Healing Hands? How many times? How long? Um, and when you do this, and you will experience huge transformation. The second level two, and that's a one-day training, but we, but that's all we focus on is self-healing, healing for the physical, mental, emotional uh, bodies. The second level, level two, is for healing a loved one. So if you're um, providing love and support for someone, uh, could be a family member, husband, wife, um, <clears throat> or you're a caregiver. We have some people in Southern California, they're caregivers. That's, what, that's their work, their caregivers. Um, you want to receive. Uh, level one is a prerequisite then for level two. So you would, re you would receive the training for level one, level two, one day training for each program. And we teach you how do you offer Tao hands to help support someone else, someone other than yourself who needs love and support that is of a higher level than the level of support that you can give them because they're suffering, they're in pain, their medication doesn't work, they don't have the mobility that they would like to have, they don't have the stamina that they would like to have, they don't have the energy that they would like to have. So it's hard to watch people suffer every day. So with Tao Healing Hands Level 2, you can really offer very high level service. Tao uh, Healing Hands Level 3 enables you to offer Thou hands blessings for any aspect of life. You will be certified as a, a Tao Healing Hands practitioner, and you will be able to offer services to yourself, to others in person, remotely, individually, to a group, for any aspect of life, physical health, mental health, emotional health, relationships, finances, business, house, uh, your garden, whatever, whatever aspect of your life whatever aspect of someone else's life needs transformation. So recently I've shared this story. I had these two musicians who contacted me. Uh, they had a very unique request. You know, I checked guidance. Yeah, absolutely. They could receive uh, the services that we were offering. Um, so people um, do have, uh, depending on their 
uh, careers, they, will, they, they make some very special requests. So I would encourage anybody who's taken this program, if you haven't taken the new program, you should take it. The honor fee is incredibly reasonable. And you take all three for one single honor fee, it's amazing. I, I, would, I would absolutely take that. Um, I would absolutely take that program. Invite our guest. I spoke with, I met her, we spent some time together in Toronto. Master Shah was holding events. And I had a chance to um, talk to her because um, I, I, both of us received training for uh, coaches through the International Federation, uh, International Coaching Federation. But she has dedicated her life actually to um, this, um, this uh, incredibly powerful career. So Susan Hausen um, is a, um, a professional uh, coaching um, uh, certified coach, International um, Coaching Federation uh, professional certified coach She's certified as a human behavior consultant. Um, she's the founder of the Soul Healing Services, the Center of Divine Love. She's the creator of Manifest Creations Limitee, the Kids Coaching uh, Connection, the author of Awaken Your Inner Hero, and, and a second book, Dreaming Big, Being Bold. She is a certified soul healing teacher, a Tao source communicator, a Tao calligraphy practitioner. And I want to welcome Susan. Thank you for being with us. She has an incredibly busy schedule and somehow she managed to be available today. How is that? How is that for divine intervention? Welcome, Susan. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. It's a pleasure. So um, tell people what you do. What do you do as a coach? Uh, tell people what you're doing as a, um, you know, working with the kids. Because I, I saw your website. Oh, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Share. Thank you. Uh, absolutely. So I do several things, as you said. <laughs> one of the things that I do is I, I teach uh, one course at, for pre-teachers at Ryerson University in Toronto. And it keeps my foot in the door and my pulse on what's happening with the younger crowd so I can support them with some of the teachings that um, I learned through the, the teacher program, because that's one of the things that it does. It allows you to, to teach and to share the wisdom. So you can imagine the stress uh, that has been experienced by a lot of students. So I can, I teach them some of the, the five uh, elements practices to help them as they're going through their exams and that kind of thing. So that's one of the things I do. The main pieces of what I do is I have a coaching program that I developed. So when I was going through the process of becoming a coach, and I wanted to do that because uh, my background in working with children, youth, and families, uh, and especially people with extra support needs, I always looked at what was right with them rather than what was wrong with them. I didn't, I didn't look at a medical model. And so coaching brought together everything, and I have a therapy background as well, brought all of those things together in a very positive way. And so when I went through the program many, many, many years ago, it was before people really knew what a life coach was, and there was no, no one on the face of the earth that um, was coaching children, youth, and families. And people were actually saying, no, that's something that you can't do. Well, that's not something that you say to me because of my personality style. And so I knew because it brought all the good components together that it was something that I needed to do. So I created the Kids Coaching Connection program and we did the um, piloting with all the boys and girls clubs across Ontario, which is our province. And the impact was so powerful for not only the kids that were in the program, for the staff, for the families. Kids were telling other kids, you have to come to this program now because it's so phenomenal and the staff were able to support them. The behavioral challenges went down, the, the feeling of positivity went up and so they 
they won or we won an award through the International Coaching Federation called the Prism Award because of the positive effect that it had. That was before it was actually fully approved by the International Coaching Federation. So because I'm a, a university instructor, I want the level of whatever I'm teaching to be at, at a high level so when people go through it, they know that they're going through a program that's really important and really effective, just like the soul teacher program that all of you need to be taking because it's at a very high level. So I went through the very rigorous process with the International Coaching Federation, and it became a fully approved program, the only one of its kind in the world that focuses on children, youth, and families. So uh, what I loved about it before I knew Master Shaw and his teachings is that the model that I developed, and there are no coincidences, of course, the models based in the heart, in the core is the soul, mind, and body. There are three rings, which, which mean energy, and so the model is based in Chen Chi Jing. And there are many other aspects to it, so when I, w when I was able to take the course, I was able to incorporate even more of Master Shah's teachings into it so that those teachings could go out to more and more people. So that's the Kids Coaching Connection program. And the Manifest Your Magnificence products, they are affirmation cards, like the Louise Hay cards and all of those that are focused on kids and the kid and you. They're all I am statements. They're all, what we, we were taught again is to transform the negative messages to the positive messages. And because as we grow, we hear so many negative messages and the people that I worked with as youth, as adults and children, we need to transform those into positive messages. So we wanna keep the positive messages as the children grow. So mm -hmm. I developed the product to support that as well. Uh, so, so this is really. Um, if everybody, we'll, we'll show you uh, her website. She has, um, uh, she has two websites. Um, I think one is called the Kids uh, Coaching Connection dot com. Uh, start looking at it. So, Susan, ta let's talk a little bit. Um, so, I did my my training with the Coaches um, Training Institute. Coaches Training Institute. Yeah, um, I did it actually twenty five years ago. Yeah. I, I figured it out the other the other night. It's 25 years ago. Um, so is, is that about the time you did your training, or, or yes, um... that's about the time that I did mine too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, so, uh, how did you find Master Shah? So it's interesting. I received an email. I'm not sure how I received this email. However, again, there are no coincidences. Somehow I, I received an email and it talked about this thing called, at that time, Divine Healing Hands. Mm -hmm. And for all of those of you that have watched The Secret, I've done pretty much all of those trainings. You know, I've done a lot mm -hmm. of other trainings as well. And I heard, you have to do this. I didn't know what it was, wasn't sure. However, you know, I follow guidance mostly, <laughs> unless I don't. And so I, I called and said, you know, I'm interested in doing this training. And I'm a Reiki master. And, and I knew that it was something that was going to really support me to support others. Because that's always been near and dear to my heart. Is to, to how can I support people to be healthy and happier? Um, because that's what's going to make our world a better place. And it's always, for me, been about how we make our world a better place for everybody. I was the only person in the training, which was very interesting. And um, Alan gave me the download. And when he gave me the download, he said, you know, you know, what was that like? And I said, well, I heard, welcome home. And so I got a little more curious about that. I really didn't know who Master Shaw was at that time. And so because of that, I got invited to the center and learned more about the teachings of Master Shaw, which just opened my heart and soul because they're in such alignment with, with what I know. And it took, took my other um, spiritual practices to another level. And that's what 
really inspired me as a, as a trainer and as a teacher to want to do the training. So talk a little bit then, you get your Tao hands or Divine Healing hands, and then what, does, what, what inspired you to take the training for the Soul, uh, soul Healing Teacher Program and also um, the Tao Source Communicator? Yes, uh, similar to <clears throat> Lisa, we, we did it at the same time. And so it was, it was the knowing that I needed to do this to take my service to the next level. And it, I knew at some level, even though it wasn't in my mind at that time, what that might look like. However, I've been able to incorporate the teachings from Master Shah in the work that I do. So, for example, I'm working in a school right now doing some training with the teachers. And the school is 100% Ukrainian, so you can imagine the the stress and the strain and all of the different emotions that are happening there. And so I was able, even though it's a Catholic school, to bring in the teachings of the soul, heart, mind, and body because we wanted to look at where where the the root cause of what's going on and what they're experiencing, and the root cause is in the soul very powerful and they know that and so then I was able to teach them five elements and very simple practices to do with their students to support their students that are going through and experiencing a lot of the unbalanced emotions that are taught in the five elements and those of you that have taken your Tao Healing Hands you will have learned that and one of the teachers afterwards said to me, wow, that's, is that why you know, I'm having such a problem in my kidneys? Because of this and this? And I said, yes. And so it's opening them up to these incredible simple practices and, and learnings and teachings in a very, very profound way. Wow. You know, I, um, I was just um, listening to you talk about the, the school with the uh, children who are uh, from the um, uh, of a Ukrainian background, whether they're from the Ukraine directly or next generation, and marveling at how uh, amazing it is. These are ancient Tao teachings, right? <laughs> ancient Tao teachings, ancient um, traditional Chinese medicine is based on the ancient Tao teachings. How it is that these teachings in Toronto are helping um, are helping this school. I don't think ever in, in, in I don't think Master Shine his you know when he was growing up thinking I'm going to write I'm going to write Tao books I'm going to do this I want to do that and it's going to really impact people from all nationalities all uh, different um, socioeconomic um, levels backgrounds. But that's really, as I listened to all of you, as I listened, you know, when I, when I talked with Lisa and she was saying to me, I went into people's homes, all kinds of, you know, all different income levels, all different situations. And now I'm listening to you and realizing you're doing the same thing. These, these teachings are enabling you to be able to talk to anybody. It doesn't matter what their ethnic background is. It doesn't matter what their... Um, belief system is because you just said I think you said that they're they have a specific belief system that they follow um, it doesn't matter where in the world uh, like Lisa she's she's in uh, touching the lives of people in uh, the Northeast in Massachusetts New Hampshire um, Charlotte is uh, on, on uh, Vancouver Island so <clears throat> it, it doesn't matter the the universal nature of the teachings, the uh, profound wisdom, the simplicity. Uh, I, I keep hearing the same thing over and over uh, from all three of you, that this is what you have from the program, is profound teachings. You're able to present them in simple ways that immediately impact people 
so the, the teachers can then help the students and then what happens is students will then help the parents right because we saw this for instance in Hawaii where they did this love peace harmony um, summer uh, what was it called the summer something I, and, and so it involved like a hundred schools or a hundred and 150 schools and for a period of like six or eight weeks um, they were teaching them Love Peace Harmony but the kids went home and they were singing Love Peace Harmony and after a while the parents started singing Love Peace Harmony and the parents came to the summer school because they saw a difference in their children they saw Absolutely. a huge difference in their children not a little change but children that had been quite um, challenged you know the, the, the difficult why they in summer school they have behavior issues suddenly were all of the behavior issues were gone mm -hmm. all of the behavior issues were gone yeah and you're talking about the the planting of the seeds which is so important mm. because we never know when that's going to germinate and how it's going to germinate i just know that it's going to germinate so during covid one of our coaches, uh, who's also a Dow Hands practitioner, works at an early on program, which is a program for families and their children. And so I did a half an hour of singing uh, some of the songs that Heaven gave me, as well as Love, Peace and Harmony. And so those families started singing it more. And um, the, the Leah's daughter, she was actually she just gave birth to her when we were going through our training program and came to the event that of, of the training that we had to do for our certification. She's a Love, Peace, Harmony baby. So she sings Love, Peace, Harmony everywhere. And so the, the seeds were planted because the families were then singing it to other families. Their children were singing it to other children. And a friend of Leah's, went to her a couple of days ago and said, you know that thing that you were singing? Uh, I've started actually singing that to my class. She's a teacher. And she has sh seen such incredible differences in the behavior of, of the students in her classroom. Yeah. And so that's, that's the power and significance of being a soul teacher is that we get to share the wisdom and knowledge. Sometimes it's in a big workshop because I also do workshops. And sometimes it's in a small environment where you have five minutes and you're able to share one thing that changes somebody's life, either physically, emotionally, spiritually, relationally, and you may or may not know about it. However, heaven does. Mm -hmm. and, and but you may find out because like and yes, it, it, right? They come back, right? They come they back. They do. Like, like I, I heard today. Um, I heard today. You know, um, the um, organization, the Universal Soul Service. So one of our biggest challenges is it has always been the information and the, and the management of the information. So although we had um, email lists, we didn't have what is available now. Um, anyways, Master Shah met a lot of people. He probably met more than 2 million people in the 10 years, uh, 12 years I was uh, working supporting him. Because you would get 100 to 200 and then um, at one point, we were consistently getting five to six hundred people to all of his events. Recently, through someone that they're through someone that the organization is working with, a, a partner, one of their people um, actually said, "I met Master Shah. I met him ten years ago," and we're going to see a lot more of that because I saw that in San Francisco when we had the center in San Francisco. We opened. Um, <clears throat> Master Shah was there for 12 years, and then he started traveling, and then um, people would come, and they'd go, is this the same Master Shah? 
who, used, who was the healer, and then we'd explain, and they go, but I knew he would do something big. He was so kind, so compassionate, so loving. So people don't forget those experiences. They remember something. If they may, if they, even if they may not be look, actively looking for the teacher, but they, the, the memory stays with them. It touches their heart very deeply. So um, let, me ask, uh, let me ask you one. Um, you're now a Tao calligraphy practitioner. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> How are you using that? Oh, it's wonderful. So in my soul healing practice, um, I asked Kevin, you know, what are the what are the best services to provide uh, according to the needs of my clients? And what are the things that I are uh, they would benefit from me teaching them the practices that I can teach? And one of those is to write calligraphy. And so when I get the guidance to do that, it it's wonderful. The, the stories are absolutely phenomenal about um, one, one story of somebody that hadn't been eating. And after, you know, two sessions, her, had a voracious appetite and is so, so thrilled with the fact that she's now able to, to eat. So it's one more tool to help support people being happier and healthier and that's what it's all about and mm -hmm. in in the process you you know you learn the the strategies and 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 the um, the wisdom of master Shaw that that can then be imparted in a way that is going to support somebody and again it's that domino effect that they they're going to use it and then they're going to teach somebody to use it and tell somebody, as you said, and yes, those are the seeds that are planted. And yes, they always come back. We just don't know when that's going to be. Yes. Yeah. Because this is very, it is very profound. I think all three of you have said uh, the teachings are very simple, but they're very, very profound. Okay. So let me ask all three of you are also Tao Source communicators. So let me start with you, uh, Susan. How did that program help you? Oh, it, it helped a lot in in connecting, uh, making my channels more open, so that the the wisdom from heaven in my teaching was able to flow much more effectively, and that I could ask questions of heaven, and um, uh, you know different saints and and others specific questions about what would be of greatest service to the person or the group that I'm working with. Mm -hmm. And so having, you know, there's, there's no filters, so I can get out of the way and let ha heaven do the job. <laughs> That's much, much better than, uh, than any of us can do in, in, in our minds. So it's, it's a, a wonderful opportunity to also grow spiritually and to help to purify, as as uh, talking about earlier, to understand what that's what that's about at a deeper level, and to get answers that you have had and don't know the answer to, get those answers. Beautiful. So I invite everybody to post in the chat, uh, post your messages of gratitude. What did you get out of listening to Susan? What was, um, what was awakened in you? What action will you take? Because it's one thing to hear. It's one thing to hear, but it's, but it's another to take action. And it's when we take action. Like if you listen to them, all three of them take action. They don't, they're not waiting. They're not debating. They're not uh, ruminating. They're taking action. They're using the whatever tools they have. They check their pendulum. They check the they take guidance through the Dow Source Communicator. I'm going to come back and ask uh, Lisa and also Charlotte. But what did you get from listening to Susan? She she's highly credentialed, right? She has a um, what is your your M A is a master's in counseling, uh, instruction in special education. Okay, so. Um, 
Yeah, so you, that's, it's, not, it's, not a, it's, it's not an insignificant um, uh, credential. You have very high-level credentials. Um, and, and yet, here you are um, receiving the certification um, um, for not only not one program, but actually four, from what I, from, from what I can see, f four different programs. And you've learned how to apply it, how to bring it in, um, in a way that, that works. So um, let's ask everybody to post in the chat. I think I sent everybody the link, but let me just um, read some of these. What did you all get from listening to Susan? Did she inspire you? So let's see. Um, uh, Nuri, oh, where's Nuri? Okay, Nuri says, thank you so much, Jimena, for giving, thank you so much for giving us um, such an absolutely wonderful lineup of guests tonight. And all three are amazing guests. Guess what? They are. They are your colleagues. You know them. You've seen them at retreats. You need to connect with them. I just happen to have an ear that I listen to someone. I go, oh, that's fascinating. I'm fascinated by, uh, by people and what they're doing. And then I start asking questions, you know, like, how do you do this? And then what do you do with that? And, and then I think about, well, what can I do with that? because it, it, it touches me. So when I connected with you and you were talking to me about the, at that time, if you remember, you were, we were talking about you creating a children's program, a children's coaching program, but I was quite sick. Um, I, I was quite sick with my spine, so I couldn't, I couldn't really be a part of it, but I'm so happy to hear what has happened for you. Really, really happy, Susan. So let's see. Uh, so Barb says, we all have the ability to touch people at their level use what you have to reach out there are so many levels and ways to connect gavin wow totally pulled in with the kids aspect thank you susan for your powerful sharing and voice and service sharing no matter who what background or where the wisdom can be shared uh, and planting seeds in fact susan and i talked a lot about this um what you know, the new Tao science course and how we just use the, the language of Tao science or we, we adjust the language. We don't get stuck and we make it uh, applicable to the people who are standing right in front of us. Um, so let's see, Gavin says, and planting the seeds that will grow when watered, nurtured. And Barb, one thing that changes someone's life forever, what is more powerful than that? Um, Anna Gilbert, thank you, Susan. I love how you emphasize the benefits of looking for the best in people, including the difficult ones. Inspirational message for me, this uh, perception has the power to transform others. Tina Puri, the weekend um, at the Expo in San Francisco, met a Taoist master who met Master Shah in China. Oh, beautiful. A uh, couple who he came Dao hands many years ago when Master Shah was in San Francisco. A few others who met Master Shah at the expo many years ago. Yeah, signed their book. Uh, yeah, that's the thing about Master Shah is he he's very very humble and wants to serve all the time. So Susan says, "Oh yes, very inspired." Oh Jean, oh yes, very inspired. Beautiful, um, Shirley. We have such amazing guests. Thank you for the inspiration, insights. Each one of you can be my guest. Each one of you can be my guest. I would love to feature each one of you because I believe each one of you can do what they're doing and probably more. So Brianna, thank you, Susan, for sharing your story. I work with kids and her story really touched my heart. It helps me get new ideas for service, listening to your beautiful stories. Love the germinating seeds. Uh, Tina says, dear Susan, so inspiring and very proud of you. Love the fact that you are helping children in our world's future. So another person that works with children who's part of that same graduating class that all of you are talking about, source, uh, Dow Source Communicator and Soul Healing Teacher is Stacy Drew. And I'm working with her now, yeah. So Catherine Weave, this was totally inspiring. It makes me want to do more. Yes, what do you want to do, Catherine? Everybody, 
Um, Monique Susan is able to serve children, youth, parents, teachers, family, communities with the guidance received. She says, heaven does the work. Uh, thank you for planting so many seeds. Catherine, okay, so everything moved something. Um, Lear, okay, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so let me ask, and they come back, and then we're going to bring Alan on. So let me come back and ask Lisa. Lisa, how did the Dow Source Communicator, thank you, Susan, thank you so much. I know it's late on the East Coast. We're going to finish in a little bit. Um, let me ask Lisa, who's also on the East Coast, uh, how did the Dow Source Communicator, how did that affect you? What is that enabling you to do? I love to do flows for people. I love that they can have their hearts touched. Uh, the last teaching event I did, there was about 10 of us in the room and I did a flow and I was, tears were coming down and my eyes were closed and I opened my eyes and everyone in the room was crying. <laughs> it was so beautiful. And um, I did one for my sister's husband in front of my sister. And when I opened my eyes, her jaw was dropped open and she said, that was Jesus talking through you she's like no doubt you would never say this thing <laughs> she's like in the way they were said she's she just couldn't believe it she said that was really jesus you were you were flowing so it's so much fun i love that course um i'm passionate about got giving guidance to people they have so many questions and they don't know what's right should i take this job should i do there's so many things going on for them and so i love being able to guide them in the way that um you know, been enabled and empowered to do. So, yeah, I, I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. I'm going to share some, a story with you. So, so with everybody, not just with you, but with everybody. So I did this for my sister. So I, I share one uh, crown chakra blessing. I didn't know my sister suffered from um, anxiety attacks, but I went to her house. She bought a new house and moved when she moved to California in Northern California, but she told me after she moved, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I, I, would have, I would have been happy to, to, to help you and support you, you know, um, before you moved. But at any rate, I went and she, she was explaining to me and I said, I, 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 I thought, are you suffering from anxiety, you know? And um, she told me something she was doing, nothing was helping. And I said, well, let me do a crown chakra blessing. Then I did a flow for Mother Mary. This past weekend, my sister took the Open Spiritual Channels workshop. Oh, wow. I don't, I don't, she's asked, she asked me if I have time in the next few days because she needs some mentoring and wants to go to the next level, which means she's probably looking at the 12 or the 15 week uh, course. That's amazing. She's, everyone should do that course. Everyone should do the 12 week course, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, it, it, it really, it will take your spiritual channels to a completely different level. Then my sister said, uh, my sister is now a Tao Hands practitioner, and she attended the advanced retreat, and she received the Tao Da Da I Healing Hands. Wow. Now when she and her husband have issues, guess who gets a call? <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way you can possibly do <laughs> some, uh, can you give me some guidance about this? Um, but now she's going to be able to do it for herself. And what's interesting is she's now bringing this into some of my other family members. So it begins the seeds, right? It gets, the, the, the seed is planted with one person and then it starts to grow. Yeah, my sister's very spiritual and I did a blessing for her. She was having pain in her shoulder. And after the blessing, I said, you know, did you feel or see anything? And she said, yes, I saw flashes of all different people of all different nationalities and races and ages. And I saw their, I saw their shoulder lit up with a golden ball. And she says, what's going on? And then I, heaven said to me, that was the ancestors that were being blessed. <laughs> Oh. And she was being healed. It's so profound, so profound. Isn't it, it is profound. She saw, she saw flashes of all her ancestors. So it, it, uh, it's so amazing. I'm so happy for everyone taking that course. It's a 12 weeks is a quick course. We took a two year course to get certified. 
So I, well, they, I, they, yeah. they have that opportunity. That program is, uh, is open. It starts on the 26th of May. So people can still register and join the Dow Source Communicator Program. Um, they can also uh, apply for the Soul Healing Teacher, um, the Soul Healing Teacher Healer Program. These two programs, if you want to take your service to another level, you you want to do these programs. Don't think should I. Think how can I, and then the answers will come. Think how can I participate? How can I register? I do this now all the time. I don't think oh what should I. I think, how can I do that? How, and you know, I'm amazed by the answers that come to me. So um, the Open Spiritual Challenge Program, you should be able to find it on the Dow Academy site, DowAcademy.com. But if you can't, you can connect with us at the center, uh, Master Shah, uh, sorry, uh, Dow Center Vancouver at DrShah.com. But um, the, uh, um, the Soul Healing Teacher and Healer Program, we're going to talk about that in a minute. So if opening spiritual channels is brand new to you, you have not taken a course, I want to give you a link where you want to go. www.thespiritualchannels.com There, there's a 90-minute course. So if you know anybody who wants to open their spiritual channels, hasn't taken any spiritual channels training, this is a great introduction into what it means to open your spiritual channels, how you can take your intuitive abilities I think uh, Susan, Charlotte, Lisa all talked about it. They didn't specifically use that language, but all of them were highly in, are highly intuitive. Then they took the training, and the training gave them um, profound um, access. Because if you can, if you want to open your spiritual channels for yourself, great. But to really be able to reach a high level of accuracy with your readings you need the training because in the training once you pass all of the all of the uh, tests then um, you will be given access to the Akashic Records and that is profound this isn't about I hear that your grandfather left you a watch in the in the in the behind you know behind pull out the drawer and it's taped to the back of the drawer no this is much more profound than that. This is about understanding how the world works and what guidance someone needs for the next um, phase of their life. Not necessarily should they take this job, but what is the next phase of their life? So I did a reading for somebody recently and the next phase of their life is for them to take, uh, to take the, the, the leap that the, our three guests have um, and to start serving at this level. In fact, I did this reading for my sister. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> but six months later, what is she doing? She's on the path. The seeds were planted. It touched her heart. It's in there. It's stirring. It's stirring things up for her. Um, and she finds Master Fashad's, um teachings on Saturday and Sunday absolutely fascinating, especially the Tao teachings. So she's on her path uh, to um, uh, go deeper. So our next guest is none other than Master Shah's right hand person. Alan has been serving next to Master Shah, 22 years. He, I think he began one or two years um, before I did uh, in San Francisco. And I remember Alan used to say, I don't know if I'm Master Shah's student or if I'm his big brother, because there was so much that was new to Master Shah in the West. And, and Alan was kind of his interpreter, uh, guiding uh, Master Shah along the way. Alan is, um, let me read you his, um, the, the bio that we, that we uh, posted for him um, because he, he also has um, a, a number of credentials. He is a mathematician. He was a high school math teacher. He's, he was an actuary. He's an editor. He's one of the leading, four leading teachers at Dow Academy for Dow Studies. 
He's a singer, and he uh, has been, as I said, at Master Shah's side, supporting and serving Master Shah with his whole heart. Um, he is one of the grand masters assigned to the Global Master Shah Dao Center in Toronto. He is the editor of Master Shah's books, and he's edited over 30 books. What is exceptional about Alan is that he's incredibly adept, extremely adept, at preserving Master Shah's unique voice while at the same time using language that makes the teachings incredibly accessible to the average person. Anybody can read Master Shah's books. Anybody. And a lot of that has to do with the editing. So his wisdom and his knowledge of Master Shah's teachings is very, very deep. So with that, I invite Alan to join us. Alan, welcome. Thank you for being here. He's been here the whole two hour, the hour and a half. Thank you for being here with us, Alan. Thank you, Jimena, and thank you everyone who's here. I just want to uh, give a shout out to your guests that have preceded me. Now, as one of the several teachers of the previous Soul Healing Teacher Program, I'm really proud of Lisa, of Charlotte, of Susan. They are great examples. And also of Monique, who's holding the space with a few others in the background here as well. And I am really proud of you. You are really good students because you're really good teachers. You have a passion to teach. You have a passion to serve. And many of you here watching this program are Tao Healing Hands practitioners. Why? Because I think you have that same heart. You have that same desire to serve. So as the manager of the next Soul Healing Teacher Program, which begins on June 15th, not too far away, and we have a very special early bird registration fee for the first semester that ends this month, May 31st, I am calling you to express your passion to serve, to go deeper in the wisdom. I think you all love Master Shah's wisdom. That's why you're here with the center, with Jimena, for their events, their teachings. If you've opened any of Master Shah's books, I think the chances are very high you've fallen in love with the wisdom. So spread that to others. Touch others the way it's touched you. And you will gain in your service. You will grow very fast. You know, Master Guo's teacher in China, Dr. Master Guo said just spontaneously one day, Ji Gong, that's Master Shah's given name, Ji Gong, you know why you grow so fast? Because you teach. You teach constantly. And, you know, I, I still have the honor of being with Master Shah on occasion. And I can tell you that in his business meetings, he teaches. He never misses an opportunity to teach. And you think about what the Buddha did. Teach. What did Jesus do? Teach. And what you have the opportunity to do as a soul healing teacher is to teach the highest wisdom, the universal truths. You know, it's not any particular religion or belief system. Think about all the great religions. Think about the golden rule. I think every religion has a variation of the golden rule. Many cultures, indigenous cultures, have a version of the golden rule. So, if you really want to serve in a bigger way, you care about your own spiritual journey, your physical journey, Teaching is one of the best ways to fulfill both of us. So thank you for having me, Jimena. It's just a joy to listen to everybody else so far. They're amazing, right? They're really, they are. really, really amazing. So I'm going to tell you, here's what happened. I, I, I spoke, um, I was already trying to put this together last week or the week, I started, I think, two weeks ago. And I started thinking, how, how, do I, how do we do this? How, how do we put this together? Then Alan contacted us and was trying to have these meetings, and I, basically he was asking me, what are we going to do? Because you, you guys need to do something. 
And I said, well, this is what we're going to do. Okay. And then it just came together. It, everything just came together uh, some, in the last two days. It just, everybody just lined up, came together. And then I wrote to David. You know, David Lush, who's in, in charge of Tao Academy. And, um, and he, uh, he wrote back to me and he said, send me the link. And, um, uh, and asked me, so I will write to each of you, although I think before they do this, they have to send you a waiver. Um, but they said, if they're good, I said, if they're good, um, uh, we'll put it in the next newsletter. We'll take clips and put them in the next newsletter. I think you're all three going to be in the next newsletter. I don't think if, I think it's a done deal. So. Um, because I, I think your commitment, all of you, you know, I, I, I mentioned Stacy. I know Monique. Monique's uh, already a master teacher, so um, she's not being featured tonight because she's already a master teacher. And so what I'm featuring is people who are not a master teacher um, because that's where everybody else is at. And, and they need to know what are other people doing who are not master teachers. And all of you, I, 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 remember, I mentioned Stacy. Um, all, all of you have multiple certifications. I knew this about Susan, but then when I got the list yesterday from Lisa, I was like, whoa. Then I got uh, Charlotte's list, and I realized that I know Stacy has multiple. There is something here that when you invest in multiple programs, and you invest the time to get certified, you're going to move forward. It's not just something that you do because it's nice to do. You really take the action and you move forward. And I think it's because you develop the confidence in the programs. The way that the programs are structured with lectures, with um, they have lectures, they have, and Alan knows this better than I do, lectures, small groups, and then they have exams. And I think there are, there are, depending on the program, there may be one or more retreats. You develop confidence over time. There's no, there's no, it's impossible not to develop confidence. So I, I just, I, I just see this from the, from the four of you, because I'm talking to the four of you. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Alan, you want to, you want to say something about that? Because you, you've been yeah. on the other, you've been on the faculty side. Yes, Amanda. I'd, I'd say the prerequisites for this training are Tao Healing Hands practitioner, which many of you are. And for me, the only other prerequisite is a love of Master Shah's wisdom, knowledge, and practices, and a desire to go deeper into them, to align with them, and to share them with the world. You may not think you have the ability to teach, but we devote so much of this training to helping you, supporting you, guiding you, teaching you how to teach. Of course, that's a vital part of being a good teacher, how to teach. And fully, you know, 40-50% of the training is devoted to this alone. I think Lisa, Susan, Charlotte, Monique can attest. And you may think that, oh, you don't have the funds. Well, tell heaven your commitment. Tell heaven what you want to do. And heaven will help you. I have one recent example in a recent event of Master Shah's where in the chat I saw one student posted. I signed up for the Soul Healing Teacher Program. I didn't know where the funds were going to come from, but they came. So happy. You may think you don't have time. What does Lisa say? She's juggling her own practice, her family, household, everything else. She found the time. The time was created for her because she had that heart of service. She had that commitment. She knew what she wanted. So I would say to anybody who is a Tao Healing Hands practitioner, who just loves the wisdom and practices, who wants to serve, that's the only prerequisite. If you don't have that heart, okay, this is not for you. But if you have that heart, absolutely it is for you.
Uh, thank you all. Love you all. Thank you so much. And I look forward to your next guest as well. <laughs> Our next guest is um, Peter Hodoba. So let me read um, the, uh, the bio. So he is the director and lead researcher at Shah Research Foundation, one of Dow Academy's leading teachers, one of four Dow um, leading teachers. Uh, he, uh, Peter has also served um, uh, throughout his career as a professor, a healthcare professional. Uh, he was director of Master Shah Dow Center. He, he started the center. He's an inventor, for those of you that don't know this. He's an inventor. He's an author, wrote um, uh, um, two books with Master Shah. One is My Enlightenment Journey with Master Shah and Shen Medicine. Um, you should read both of them. And uh, in the in Dow Academy, uh, Peter's certifications include, um, he is one of the grand masters. Master Shah only has, I think, appointed 11 or 12. He is a Dao calligraphy teacher. He's the co-director of the Kuan Yin Lineage Holder Program first disciple of Dr. and Master Shah, and many, many more certifications. So in his work um, as an academic, as a healthcare professional, and now uh, through Shah's Research Foundation and through the Dao Academy, um, I feel very confident saying, Peter, like Alan, is touching thousands of people's and professionals' lives around the world. Welcome, Peter. Thank you for joining us. I know we're running late. We'll try and finish in the next 10 minutes. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Jimena. Thank you, everyone. Uh, wonderful presentations. Uh, it was so beautiful to see so many talented people are gathering about Ma around Master Shah and more and more. So that's uh, so wonderful to see that hard work, extremely hard work and dedication that Master Shah has put into this, is coming to beautiful fruition. Um, what can I say to those who are listening to us? I was with Master Shah for past 22 years and uh, it has been absolutely remarkable. Uh, just something can't be even described by words, I can say that this was the luckiest day of my life when I met Master Shah and we got together. Uh, when I was young, still teenager, I started to study Tao Te Ching. And uh, Tao Te Ching is a book of Master Shah. No, sorry, Book of Lao Tzu. <laughs> Lao Tzu, uh, ancient Taoist philosopher, founder of the Taoism in China. Um, I have been studying it for years. I mean, I'm not counting weeks, I'm not counting months. I'm counting decades. Soon I will be counting centuries. <laughs> uh, but the, the issue is that now I am just in sheer heaven because Master Shah is teaching Lao Tzu, Dao De Jing, online, on Facebook. And his explanations, his teaching about it, and the blessings he gives us are absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I, it's a books that is far away from whatever we are. I mean, it's a two and a half thousand years what was in Canada. So if you are Canadians <laughs> with our culture, how we can understand what was happening two and a half thousand years, what issues they had, what philosophical thinking they had. This is just totally, um, no way. We can't even recognize what happening in Europe two and a half thousand years. And it, we are so close to it. China, very different culture. It, it, it's uh, beyond our reach. I, I, I try to really, but now I see that, wow, this is like a new universe, what Master Shah is showing up. 
and so one of his uh, one of his uh, key premises are that we want to end suffering on this world we want to end it for ourselves and for others and, uh, and to do so we need to reach a high level of spiritual attainment whatever it may be in anyone's own spiritual path um, there are two or three main points so one is a purity we need to reach very high level of purity pure thinking whatever we think is always pure what we speak is pure nice kind loving what we do is nice loving kind but then that may not be enough second part to it is a service and uh, in the service we offer help to others whatever it may be and uh, honestly over the years I've been serving all my life uh, I choose the direction in my life when I was helping people uh, all the time uh, but I can say that to help people using the technologies that Master Shah has it's much more than what I have been doing you can you know you can uh, help someone as there is car accident you jump in help uh, and you may even save the life that's uh, beautiful you may go and uh, uh, give the food out in the food bank in downtown Vancouver every weekend and feed homeless yeah that's absolutely beautiful but to end someone's suffering not for this day by giving the food not for this week not for this month not for this life but for the rest existence that's a very different story and uh, with master Shah training uh, he has trained thousands of us who do that we are not only offering the help with the back pain or, or the headache we are offering help with pain of life that's very different very different and uh, this fascinating program that is being offered right now uh, is helping us to do just that I remember when I was still a, a leader in the center in Vancouver uh, I think it was about 2015 or so uh, came the request that we would launch this in our center and then we would uh, encourage students to take it and uh, there were some who did and there were some who didn't well those who did are here the top uh, not only teachers but they are masters in the center they made it very high they made it high on their soul journey they are made it high in the position where they can help others so amazingly those who didn't take part of this training some of them are still trickling around some of them are already gone and so I honestly feel from this personal experience with uh, my own students uh, gosh so many years ago <laughs> I don't want to count years anymore uh, but from my own experience they did extremely well they are competent amazing servants uh, so this opportunity doesn't come often the program was done and then was closed for some long time and so now the opportunity is here again and so I think that all the one who talked about before me uh, all and me we agree in that point that this is a absolutely unique opportunity um, you know to open spiritual channels for example I it can have a different facets you know the you use it you use it for uh, helping people helping clients 
of course, when I have a private consultation, then I rely on many things. It's like listening to symphonic orchestra. I see, I hear, I, I, uh, and then I see and hear without seeing and hearing, uh, using the different senses. It's just like listening to all sorts of levels of the information. It's totally amazing. Uh, my third eye is now open in, to that degree. I look at someone and I still see both with physical eyes and the third eye. It's totally amazing how much one can then see and how. But then it's also practical things. You know, I remember 2002, Master Shah sent me to help Dr. Wu in uh, Washington, D.C. You know Dr. Wu? There was a song famous rock song, Who Are You, Dr. Wu? It's the Dr. Wu who shares the clinic with Patch Adams, famous person. Um, and so I had a delight to know him. I was with him two weeks and we chanted, meditated. I was offering him a healing for his illness. And, uh, but he still was not convinced that we actually are doing what we are talking. So we went for the lunch and he, said, oh gosh, everything is taken, all parking. I said, don't worry, go straight, second on, turn right in the middle on the right side, there is this parking spot. Ah, you must be kidding, what? <laughs> well, but he did anyway. So we went uh, two blocks, then he turned right, and there you have it, you know. <laughs> there was a parking spot waiting for us. <laughs> so I gained his, gained his, uh, respect <laughs> and so there are these type of amusing things you know uh, but the, it comes to a much more uh, serious stuff uh, where i personally benefited and those around me personally benefited that we we can do uh, actually talk to the spiritual world and see and get a guidance that others have no chance uh, and so it's a great thing to have uh, whatever you are doing, you know, the, for many things you can use. So I uh, uh, close down my humble few cents to the pot. Uh, you know, I'm just an old man sitting on the mountain and from time to time I come down and do some, some speech and then they give me a hand, you know, that's what they do to veterans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I am very happy that the center continues to uh, grow. It has new, uh, new potential, new people coming in, and then the Master Shah uh, organization is growing. Uh, it's amazing. And uh, I feel extremely honored and privileged that I can be part of this. So thank you very much for listening to me. and. I wish you all a good luck in making that choice. Step into it and ride. <laughs> Thank you, Himena. Thank you all. I love you from my heart. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Alan. Have you enjoyed the evening? Has anybody enjoyed the evening today? Can you all post in the chat your love, your gratitude to Peter? and Alan for joining us. So we're gonna bring this evening to a close and I just want to um, summarize a little bit about what we said. So we started today, uh, tonight by saying to you that I was gonna introduce you to three solopreneurs, but I didn't define what solopreneurs are. Solopreneurs is a term that is used for someone who's an, um, a business owner. Um, Lisa's a good example. She and her husband, you could say they're business owners, but they're actually creating multiple businesses. Same thing with Susan, multiple businesses. Um, Charlotte, I know Charlotte, multiple businesses. So they have a perspective of creating new businesses, of um, they see the opportunity to serve, and they step in, and it happens to come in the framework of a business. The world has changed and all of us can be solopreneurs. 
There is so much available for free on the internet. If you are not taking advantage of all of the free training that's being offered by all the big top guys, you're missing out. It's being offered for free. Take the classes, apply what works for you, grow your business. Don't let anything stop you. I'm in my mid sixties. I'm taking the classes. I'm learning what they're teaching because I want to do a better job. So I want to invite all of you um, to uh, start taking action. So I introduce you to three entrepreneurs with the hope that you will be inspired. They're not backed by the Dow Academy. They're not backed by Master Shah. They're not one of the top, top teachers. You hear this over and over and over, the top teacher for this, the top teacher for that. Yeah. They're like you and me. They have small businesses, but they're willing to take action. They're willing to keep stepping forward. Um, so Lisa has her two businesses. I think, it, I think she has three. Her husband has one or two. So you do the same. It's not that difficult. It's unknown, but not difficult. And there's a difference between unknown and difficult. Unknown, you're a Dow Hands practitioner. Give yourself blessings. Help you to get comfortable with the unknown. Help you to get comfortable with um, uh, learning new things. We can all learn. There's a teacher for every one of us. It's not like you're 60 and you, can, you know, you'll never be able to learn this. There's a teacher. There's someone who is your age and who has mastered whatever you're trying to master. And they've got a course. They've got a retreat. They have a, a coaching service. You just need to find them. The, the, the old way of business is gone. This is the new way. People are actively looking for coaches online. Um, we um, uh, showcase the Soul Healing Teacher Program because it's one thing to have the power, but they spoke so eloquently. Why did they speak so eloquently? Because they took the Soul Healing Teacher Program. They have the language. They have the confidence. They learned the skills to present to present their ideas, to present Master Shah's wisdom to any audience. You take the training and you will have the confidence. You will have the skills. You will have the ability to bring these teachings to anyone, anywhere. And then we brought you Alan and Peter who just blew away every possible reason not to do this. They just blew it away <laughs> with those blessings. Take the action. Take inspired action. Take inspired action every single day. Take inspired action every single day and you will live the life of your dreams and you will help others to live the life of their dreams. I hope that you've enjoyed this evening. I hope that you're inspired. Post in the chat, what will you do? Will you say yes? Will you register tonight? What will you do? What will you do? And think about it is not an answer. Get a flow. Go into the um, go into the Zoom. Get a flow. Take the flow into your heart, and then make a decision. It's been my great honor. I thank Lisa. Thank you so much. You are you inspired me. I was so sick on Monday, and yet you inspired me. I had enough energy to do about an hour's worth of work on Monday after our call. Thank you, Susan, bringing your light and your love into the world in powerful ways. Thank you for taking time out. I know it's very late. It's after 11 o'clock your time. Thank you to all three of you. 
thank you to the team in Vancouver. Um, first of all, Peter Hodova, um, Cynthia, Monique, Sarah, Mark, Lydia, Nuri, Barbara, everybody who uh, does and supports uh, these evenings. Thank you to everybody who has joined tonight. I encourage you to let other people know how amazing was tonight. How amazing was tonight. And wouldn't you like to be the next, one of the next three speakers that we feature on, on, on our next Wednesday evening? I would love to have you be one of those speakers. Love you all. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Join us next Wednesday. Um, we'll put out an email, but you should just join every Wednesday. Has any week been a dud? Not yet. <laughs> so join us. Plan to be here every Wednesday. We do our best to serve you, to inspire you, to uplift you, to help you to keep moving forward on your journey. Love you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.